Did you get done what you wanted to get done in the debate on uh, Wednesday night? Uh, look, I always wish that I had more time to be able to touch on, on so many of the important issues that we face. Uh, but look, it was a good opportunity to introduce myself to voters across the country and, and to get across a little bit about who I am and why I'm running for president. And your big focus is the war, the, the war that the Trump administration keeps threatening uh, with Iran. Uh, why is that the focus of your campaign? Well, there, there, there's uh, the major focus of, of my campaign really gets to the heart of how our foreign policy cannot be separated from domestic policy. Uh, as a soldier, I've served over 16 years in the Army National Guard. I've deployed twice to the Middle East and in Congress have served for over six years on the Armed Services, Foreign Affairs and Homeland Security Committee. So through my experience, I understand the importance of national security, of keeping the American people safe and have also uh, seen firsthand the terribly high human cost of war. Uh, so the message that I'm bringing is about ending these wasteful regime change wars that have been so costly in American lives, as well as in costing every single American trillions, trillions of taxpayer dollars since 9-11 alone, uh, ending this new Cold War and nuclear arms race that's pushed us to the brink of nuclear catastrophe, greater risk now than ever before, and instead to take the trillions of dollars and invest them in serving the needs of the American people, to walk us back away from this nuclear abyss so that uh, families and children, future generations, don't have to live in fear of an imminent nuclear attack, which is essentially where we are right now. How do you think you would do in a debate with uh, President Trump? if you get the nomination. I look forward to having that opportunity. <laughs> I would I would do very well. <laughs> uh, I mean, he, uh, he, he's such a, uh, I don't know exactly the best diplomatic way of saying this, but he's, first of all, a little unhinged. And he's also, when he debated uh, Secretary Clinton, he was walking behind her making faces at her, making fun of her, how do you, uh, and and probably would be less um, respectful of a female opponent than a male opponent, how would, what would your debate strategy be to, uh, to win? Oh, look, I'm the first female combat veteran ever to run for president. Uh, Donald Trump doesn't worry me at all. Donald Trump uh, will fail if he tries to or thinks that he can uh, bully me into uh, being afraid somehow of him. No, that's not going to happen. I'm focused on my mission, and my mission is to put the interests of the American people above all else, put service before self, and bring about the kind of strong, bold leadership that we need to change our foreign policy, to end these wasteful regime change wars, to end this new Cold War and arms race, and invest in serving the needs of our people. And the reason why I'm the best candidate to beat Donald Trump, the most qualified candidate to serve as president and commander in chief, is because of those experiences and that leadership, that leadership that has shown, has the power to unite people from all across this country, conservatives, independents, Democrats, progressives, people who may disagree on a number of issues, but understand at the core of the challenges that we face, we must deal with the cost of war. We must deal with this existential threat uh, that nuclear war poses to every single person in this country. That's the kind of change that I'll bring and the leadership uh, that I seek to serve the American people with. Fabulous. Thank you. And I'm mindful of your time.